So here we are. Uh, when you click on the class itself in my math lab, you will come to the what's called the course home. The course home consists of your weekly calendar, as you can see here. Um, this is the first week of the class. Nothing's due. But we have what to work on next down here, which is your pretest. Needs to be taken on or before January 18th. But if you wait till January 18th, you know, you're kind of already behind. So just do that immediately. It's not a long test. It's four questions. And then kind of what's coming up next. Um, what you want to really do is you want to run your browser check. Make sure you have everything you need. Um, and, and that'll check that if you need plugins, things like that. But any more, uh, most of us should have what we need. But you never know. Uh, the how to enter answers is something you can uh, go to that will uh, give you a tutorial on entering math symbols, graphs, things like that, the basics. So I, I suggest you take the time to do that um, because sometimes a comma out of place can cause everything to be wrong and then you're going to be frustrated. Uh, so, you know, take the time to do that. Another issue that, that I see often is rounding. Uh, we seem to have a uh, problem with how to round. So, you know, keep in mind that when you're rounding, you're either leaving the number alone or you're adding one to it. So you look at the place value you're rounding to, look the number to the right. If it's five or bigger, you add one to the number that you're considering rounding. If it's less than five, if the number to the right of it is less than five, you leave it alone okay so you're laughing I know because you learned this in fourth grade third or fourth grade but uh, it seems to be an issue so just make sure you know how to do that because if this software is very picky about how you enter answers and it's gonna count it wrong and, and you're right now on tests I'll, I'll uh, give you credit for those but on your homework you do have to redo the whole problem again so try to make sure you're rounding correctly to avoid those issues um, you know, up the top here, you've got announcements. So I would always, you know, periodically check those. So right here, here's your first announcement. Please go to the start here section. You've obviously done it. And there may be more in, in time. You know, sometimes I post videos of certain topics as we go through the class. So just, you know, be careful. Uh, pay attention. Check your email. Email is so important. Uh, that's how I communicate. How else do we communicate in an online class? So just make sure you're checking your email. Uh, I will probably send you something out once a week. Sometimes there's something extremely important in there. Sometimes it's talking about due dates. So just make sure you check your email. All right. So obviously you've been to the start here. Um, the next thing is the syllabus. And you can see on the left side, you know all these things are highlighted you're not going to hurt anything by clicking on the left side of this page okay the only thing that could be a problem is if you click on a test and then you click the exam and you go ahead and start it well then you're locked in two hours so th that's you know three or four clicks so really just clicking on one of these links out here is not going to bother anything but anyway here's your syllabus here's my contact information um, you know, my email will be down here shortly, but you can email me through, uh, the questions. Um, so, uh, but I will have that posted as well. Here's the course information. So read through there, uh, make sure you understand about the class requirements, how you are graded. Again, the final exam must be proctored. I've got that in so many places. When people tell me they don't didn't know the exam had to be proctored, I shake my head. So it's just you're not paying attention if you if you didn't know that. Um, you know, late work may be subject to a penalty, um, but if you do miss an exam, let me know. Uh, I'll give one extension. Final exam does not get an extension. Then we've got our withdrawal policy. Okay. So, um, you know, just read through this. Here's your outline, what we do, but don't go through, you know, chapter one and start working all of them. Okay. We'll talk about homework, uh, here in a second. 
All right, the instructor information, that's all about me. There is my email address right there. So make sure that, uh, you know, if you need to get in touch with me, you can type in the email or there's other places where you can email me through. Okay, uh, there's my picture. You've already seen me, so you kind of know what I look like. The next thing is your proctoring. This explains the process of proctoring. Um, you know, I've told you about Proctor U. I probably will add that to here just because you'll forget most of what I say now. So just read through here. You know, if uh, you want to get a uh, appointment at BCTC, if you're a Lexington student, you can click on this link right here and it will take you to our proctoring center and then you can go about that way. If you are not a BCTC student, you don't live in Lexington, you know, you can click on that link and you can locate your testing center. Your due dates for work. There are due dates for assignments, uh, but you'll also see that when we go to homework. But you can click on that. It opens in a new link. You can open it and it's going to kind of break down when things are due. Okay. So print that so you, you know, know when things are due. We do have tutoring available, so uh, it's probably not up yet, but you know, if you do need tutoring, you can click on one of these links for email tutoring or tutoring at BCTC or find it at your local campus. All right, the next is the class notes and videos. You know, this kind of breaks down here just your how your grade is calculated. Um, and that's in your syllabus, but you know, you can read through this and there's more links again for proctoring. But the important thing are your video lectures and maybe some examples. And again, I will send out periodically videos. Some of these were not made by me. Um, somebody else did it and I copied the class. And oftentimes, after so many years of using a video, it becomes what they call corrupt and it won't open up. So if that happens, first right click on it and then save it. And sometimes if you save it to your computer somewhere, it will open. If not, let me know. Okay, let me know if, if these videos become corrupt because I don't look through each one of them every semester. Um, most of the time, I, I'll randomly choose a few, and if they look good, fine. But this will be what you can watch if you don't understand what's going on, uh, especially with the unit conversions. Very important if you're not in the program itself you're not used to doing that so you need to understand how to do that so please watch these so we've got videos for every section of your homework now some of them like this one here um, you don't see it because it's only on me because I don't do quizzes anymore and I don't do some of these other topics but you'll see all the way on down you've got video lectures resources for every topic we cover so you just go back to the main menu and we go down and if you click on your homework you'll see that you've got the pretest. you also have your due dates right along the side here uh, you'll see these little green flags which means you must do the pretest before starting this assignment so you, nothing's going to open up until you do that pretest. the next link will have your exams in here now um, you know one thing I will in the homework let me go back to that really quick you'll see there are practice exams now the exams for the uh, non proctored non final exams are like homework so you can't take the entire uh, test over again it's kinda like homework and homework you can redo a problem as many times as you would like you just can't redo the entire assignment from scratch again so you can go through and rework things as many times as you want to get your homework to 100. There's no penalty. You just keep working it. Uh, the practice exams will work the same way. So if there's a topic that you miss in the practice exam, you'll just go back to the homework, click on the one you missed, and just get a similar exercise. For the final exam, it is set up just like the test. So you can take the whole thing, then retake it again. And you see here's the time limits for the tests but for the practice exam there's no time limit and it's infinity so you can take it as many times as you like but your other tests 
you only take once. Um, I don't do retakes for bad scores, and I don't do extra credits. So, uh, you know, make sure you're ready for the test uh, before you take it. Now, the study plan, it's there. I just don't use it. You can certainly, you know, find stuff you want to practice on and, you know, do similar exercises to the one we ones we do, but it's nothing you have to do. Now, your grade book, obviously, there will be nothing there. But as time goes on, you will kind of see what's what your grade is. Um, we I keep track of things as you do them. So your grade will be based on what you've done so far. So if you're missing work, it's not going to show up till I change everything. Uh, the next topic is how do I drop the class? So here's your information on that, on how to drop it. So, you know, you just, you know, you figure it out, read it, and uh, it's not that hard. All right, uh, chapter context. This is your ebook. So if you're working in chapter one, you can go to chapter one, whatever section we're covering at the time. Um, you can either look for the topic, you know, either from maybe the table of context, contents. You can just go right to the book itself or you can do the assignments from that section but again we don't cover every section in chapter one okay so you can go to the multimedia e-text itself and then you can scroll through the pages just like you would a book okay so here up here is how you get through the pages um, if you want to jump to a page you can type it in up here and hit enter okay so that's how that works there are videos that come with the book, the videos we have in the other section, the class notes and video lectures. Um, that's what we created, but some of uh, the topics also have videos in the book. You know, there's lots of other stuff we'll talk about here shortly, but that's your textbook. You know, here's your tools for success. If you have problems, you can go to the help and support, the My Math Lab help and support. How do I enter answers? We've talked about that. If you have a graphing calculator, not sure how to use it, click on that. Again, you know, a lot of times it's calculator issues that give people problems, um, especially with trigonometry. You need to make sure your calculator is in the degree mode. Um, and, and so you need to get familiar with that. The multimedia library is kind of where you can go through whatever chapter you're working on and you know again we don't do all the sections but if you want to see what's available to you uh, in chapter four for the right triangle you can see okay is there some animation and you can find it and it'll tell you okay sorry there's nothing with that is there a video there is a video now it's different than my video but the more videos the better okay uh, Pearson Tutor Services, if you uh, want tutoring through them, I think they charge. You can always check on that, but we have free tutoring. Um, discussions, I generally don't do anything with discussions. It's there, but if you want to start one for your classmates, that's fine. The course tools, there's another way you can email me. Um, you just click on that, and you can email another class member or myself. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, just make sure you're familiar with, you know, how to get around the class. Uh, make sure you do that browser check. You know, look at the how to enter answers and, and just be prepared to start the class. Don't just jump in. Just kind of prepare yourself. You know, online classes require uh, self-discipline and self-motivation. Um, you know, so when you have a month to get everything done, human nature is to put it off. Try not to do that. Okay, try to, to stay up with your work. I'll remind you if you're if I see you're not doing stuff, you will get an email from me. All right, so so that's it. Um, good luck and uh, get busy.